Hello and welcome to Unstop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and this is Look Back at Monday Night Raw and Monday Night Nitro, 12th of August 1996. I love these wee retro Mondays that we do, guys. So don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that beautiful notification bell. Go to the comments below and let me know what your favourite memory or favourite thought on looking back at the, the Monday Night Wars. What was your favourite thought of it? And do you think it's going to come back with WWE and AEW? Or do you think that's just a, a pipe dream for us old folk that remember how good wrestling was back then? So let's kick off with Raw. So we get Farouk versus Skip. Farouk gets a win. That's a squash match, really. It wasn't really anything special. Then we get Crush versus Savio Vega. I'm not even going to talk about this one because it was completely confusing and it was just a why, why, why is this here? <laughs> T.L. Hopper, who, versus T.L. Hopper and who versus Godwin's, I don't even know, um, we'll just move on for that. I'm sure who was Jim Neinhardt at this point and then Owen Hart versus Shawn Michaels, 2.5 stars, Shawn gets the win, this was a non-title match, but uh, fantastic wee match here, this was a really good one, I enjoyed it overall for Raw. One star. It was fucking pish. It was really, really, really bad. Um, and do you know as I'm looking back, I, you keep thinking, what was WWE thinking? WWF at the time. What was WWE thinking in 1996? Their stuff wasn't that good and you had WCW over there. It wasn't he? putting on the best matches at the minute, but they were putting on some good stuff. And all I can keep thinking is, they don't really... Like new, they took it for granted as people were always watching them. They had the bigger names and stuff like that. They took it for granted. And I can th honestly see there's a lot of parallels between AEW and WWE at the minute. WWE took it for granted that they're the big company would make the money and stuff. And AEW's found that niche to get in. To make some money. Run some great pay-per-views. And I think maybe in the next five years or something we're going to see something similar. But for me I probably think WWE's just going to sell. I'm not going to lie. WCW. So, Nitro. We get Meng, Barbarian, Kev, the fear, house fear thing, whatever, fear of whatever that was called. <laughs> and uh, high volt versus high voltage and rough and ready. This was all over the place. And uh, aye, it was just all over the place. I don't even know what words would say for this. Diamond Dallas Page versus Renegade. DDP gets a win. One star here. Short, right to the cutter. <laughs> NWO segment that was awesome. I love these early NWO stuff when they're still flushing out. I loved NWO in all its conceptions. I've actually got my black and white NWO shirt on today. I had the red and black on the other day. As you can tell, I love the NWO with all my stuff. But uh, I, the, I always love these early segments. I always think they're cool. Conan versus Jim Powers. Conan gets a win. One star. It was a match to get Conan a win. It was nothing really special. Next one is pretty much the same. Chris Benoit versus Ron Studd. Benoit gets a win. One star. Short, sweet, getting Benoit over. WCW World Tag Team Championship. We get Harlem Heat uh, versus uh, Rick Steiner and Scott Steiner. DQ finish, 1.5 stars. It was a cool match till the end. It was just all over the place. Then we get probably one of the best matches of the night, well, was one of mine, is Rey Mysterio versus Ultimate Dragon. Ray gets a win here, 2.5 stars. It was a really fun match. Aye. The, this Mysterio and Ultimate Dragon match was fantastic. Ray getting a win here was fun, obviously. 2.5 stars. Great little match, and it was a fun one. Ray does have killer matches at this point as well. The WCW US Heavyweight Champion, Ric Flair versus Randy Savage. Flair gets a win, 2.5 stars. It was what it was. The old guys have always have something good in the ring and it was just there. Sting and Luger versus Scott Hall and Nash. Horsemen come out and chase the NWO off after like four minutes each. Um it was good. It was I like the NWO stuff as you can tell. But uh, overall, two stars. It was an okay show. The NWO stuff was there. Good couple of matches. But it still boggles my mind what the hell are WWF doing WWE at this point. I running a terrible WCW isn't he? got the best show apart from the NWO it's coming into that point when it's going to be really good but WWF1 was just a complete miss apart from that Owen and Sean match anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this show I'll see you back here tomorrow see you later